football lovers san bonani and welcome back to football trends with me okp now football lovers uh you might not believe what to coach pitom sumane did and i can say Guti, this is something maybe we have been waiting for maybe this is a sign maybe something is promising but we will unpack it together and then you will let me know what you think down in the comment section below but of course before we get into all of the details in and Jong and that favor please do make sure to like the video and also if you're new here please do consider subscribing to the channel help us grow and reach 10,000 subscribers we're already on 6.5 so please help us grow to reach 10,000 subscribers and also on a call when you click a bell notification so that next time when i post a new video you get notified now guys Upitom Sumane responded to Upovim Daong and he even tagged KZ Chiefs with a very interesting message and Masatu Pegambugeli this post he responded to he posted Dala so what does this mean what does it mean because this is an old tweet and it shouldn't be like responded manji and he shouldn't have responded later on like a year later because manji almost this is when year it tweet in july and now we are hitting oh june then july so it's almost a year so why i respond manji and what was happening on this tweet as we respond manji well let's take a look at this so guys uh the president yeah young africans which is uh, he posted this on X. Uh, he was sitting with Ao uh, Bobem Taung and also a uh, head of digital marketing, which is Ukemi Somo Taung, uh, part of the family Nae. And the caption was, We are taking good care of your family. We miss you at the real Pito, wishing you the best this season, champion. Which uh, are uh, president, yeah, your young Africans, which is Uheri. And then now, Kane Aipendula Upitum Simani. And this is how he responded to it. He said, President and Arfat, those people are very close to my heart. I know you will treat them well. I wish I was there, like last time. Wanachi Day. Beauty, beauty. Gusha Enage Upitum Simani. And then he also tagged Ikeiza Chiefs, Nayoge Young Africans. And then yesterday, guys, after I to respond back then pindo responder isolo isolo it was the 21st of may and let's look at this perfect as you can see this comment as you can see in a pogo screen Uguti, he tagged the case chiefs and also a young africans wafagali emoji le loti and but guys maybe there's a twist you know why because i have a trusted source i i believe in him for now it's do believe in him but when i see Uti, he's legit but for now i do believe in him because there's some things and i've seen Uti. it's been true so according to my source he says that uh case the chiefs might have contacted obito msimane and obviously they talked so probably probably it might have to do with the thing you uh, the chiefs have contacted obitum's money i don't know this might be a hint because so uncle is cut you guys how many months almost one like almost one year 10 months down the train kanumuntu a responder manji on this day uh using those emojis why what's the reason behind that because we all know Ayikunji in the corner uh there's no smoke without fire as you guys saying it's long so Definitely, there might be something, but we will see as time goes on, guys. I don't want to promise you lies and tell you to hi. Is that until Pitom Semane is coming to KZ Chiefs? No, 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 no. It's highly possible they have contacted him because, you know, the list is there, and obviously they are still going through the processes and they are trying to negotiate Nabo coaches. So if this is true, and definitely. Obitom Simani, uh, they've contacted him and then Bakuluma, but Agria in terms of, you know, contract and everything, that that might be the best decision ever, aka Enzo, aka the chief squad, but we'll see as time goes on, because it all remains to be seen, and Kumbu Lombogeli, there's no smoke without fire, and as like I've said before uh, in the beginning of the video, What's your take on this, Mbogeli? What do you think? Do you think it's possible uh, AKA the Chiefs management might have contacted uh, Opitom Simane and maybe as we speak, Bapi is by a negotiator, something. Maybe they want to bring him back to Najorena because we know contract Take is ending, Manje. Jean Manje is over the season. And yeah, 
sadly whatever he is doing with the upper fc uh, he's still left with i think two games or one game if i'm not mistaken and then he has to win both games so that the pume will relegation zone and be safe outside but what do you think what do you think Mbugeli? what's your take on this do you believe is it possible which the case the chiefs have contacted or beat some money let me know down in the comment section below now let's move on to the other news because we do have something else and that something else has to do with uh oh spure shabalala where he was comparing uh oh mufu king from orlando pirates now you get a have a fan of baby chiefs uh, like uh, the likes of abumfundo villarazi the young players all of them and according to understanding yake he believes that um mufu king is getting like the proper game time is getting the much needed guidance and obviously the conversation and everything he and jim leader to where he's being called to ibafana bafana as a young star but then unfortunately with keys chiefs players it's not the same now here is what he said conversation is key mostly with young players i will give examples mfukeng is playing well and is a regular he's getting game time which is good for him good for football and he looks like he is in an environment where he's being guided where he's being mentored and also being protected and now he's at the level where he can be thrown into the deep end you can only improve when you play you cannot improve on the bench and when you are not a regular with chiefs it's a bit different now because of the situation i said it before there are good players at chiefs the club doesn't have bad players the challenge is that they don't have a team there's no structure currently there's no identity it looks more reliant on an individual brilliance more than a team structure and it becomes a problem for the youngsters when they are promoted to the first team because they come into the environment where the team is not doing well not winning and now when they are being introduced as well they get lost because there's no structure or identity they don't even know what patterns of play style of play so when they play they are doing things relying on their talent rather than the structure of the team they come into a tough environment with pressure a lot of criticism so that's where mentorship is required a lot of conversations are needed to prepare them keep them grounded and also to let them know they are good players they are capable of being great players which is something that i can agree with him because all of the things that he said is true guys it's very very true uh, i wish there was more i could add on it but obviously the environment the structure we know how he pressure in a corner good chiefs having to play with senior players and then already master took bigger guys you know every time uh um to do the shabalala is in the game we will control io and also no fundo villagazi the young player maga corner parati you can see okay those boys they know how to change the game the pace of the game we've seen with the previous game uh there was something lacking but and then we started to see change like almost every time uh umfundo is being introduced uh the young players um, to do the shawalala is being introduced there's something that's going to change especially uh, in the terms of play uh, with the case achieves but with the senior players come on guys we know what's going on and we know for sure he in king a corner by on with case achieves i'm just hoping would he, by the end of the season it's either if this is true what we were talking about upitom simane they sign him or batole uh this guy who alexandra santos but i think they are dragging their feet guys if they were serious about him obviously i'm signing Lee, and i've been saying this if a team is serious about the coach they will sign him no matter what look at liverpool and i still make an example with liverpool guys and zong Colela, it's one of my favorite teams so that's why i'm closing as the example now liverpool is one of the teams that i'm passionate about and of course come on guys in a follower that club and it's my favorite ever since i came from fc barcelona I've moved to Liverpool and yeah 
they've hired U and Sloth replacing Oglop and now we don't know much about U Sloth but I believe I believe he's going to give us something as Nati uh, this side should believe in Alexandra Santos because come on guys come on he's a good coach and yeah I do believe Uti he can bring some change especially La Pan and Achurena. for me personally I didn't think like KZ Chiefs should sign a coach who's local with the local mindset it's challenge is someone with fresh like fresh out the view new perspective when he gets there someone is not gonna be attached emotionally because come on if we sign a, a local coach then obviously local coaches they know what's okay okay it's just there's this player and this and this and this and me now i want to go with this and this and that so come on i don't think it's going to work like effectively for the club but if they get someone who has fresh view of eyes someone who has fresh mind like also when a perspective and a different mindset uh, i think that would be great but we will see as time goes on and another thing guys in uh, is the bad thing that happened with uh oh dylan solomon's uh, i believe i'm a report say he was hospitalized uh, now the reason being I, I don't have the full details yet but i'm hoping they will tell us something because you know keys achieves uh, with those sort of things they don't tell us anything so i'm hoping more information will surface soon and also i, I would like to you know just like a coach did uh, he congratulated uh, those players who have been selected to uh, Bafana Bafana uh, which is Oprus Vuma and also O Given Simango so those are the two players who have been selected to uh, represent uh, the national squad which is Bafana Bafana and yeah big ups to Bona uh, I really hope Uti uh, Dylan Solomons can get a speedy recovery because yeah we we didn't know about this but now we do know and he has confirmed it through his instagram or poster this peak as you can see and you've seen and then also there's this uh situation yeah kk or bruce voma now given it's manga who are the players who have been selected to represent the country but thank you thank you guys for watching until the end of the video i really appreciate all of you people who watch the videos till the end and i'm hoping i'm hoping one day i, I will do something for you guys because you guys are my inspiration uh, you are the reason why i keep making videos and i just love making videos but challenge uh, that favor you know you just like the video and also or subscribe and and if you wanna like communicate further we do have a group chat in Bugeli. Sometimes I forget to leave the link down in the comment section, but my good description near me also taller, like almost everywhere. It's easy to find. And if you are interested and in Faranga, you can just uh comment on this video and say what you are interested on joining the the the, the group chat and then in the I, I leave the link or give you the link personally and yeah i think this is it Mbugeli. thank you thank you so much for watching uh love your support and